Hi, this is Julie Kahigas with Cool Cleveland. I'm here with Ian Charnas of the Tesla Orchestra, and we're going to find a little bit more about his group and their upcoming concert. Hi, Ian. Hi, Julie. How's it going? Great. Can you tell us a little bit about the Tesla Orchestra? Sure. We are a group of engineers and artists and musicians, and we make musical lightning bolts with what are now the world's largest twin musical Tesla coils. All right. Well, um, for those of us who don't know what a Tesla coil is, can you explain that a little bit? Sure. Thanks. A Tesla coil is a very tall, very high voltage device that shoots out bolts of artificial lightning. It looks like lightning. And what you hear is the lightning bolt turned on and off at audio frequencies. So if we turn it on and off at 440 hertz, the musicians in your audience they'll know that's A4, that's the A above middle C on a standard piano. And you hear that tone. You see lightning and you hear that tone. You hear I don't think I'm a pitch perfect uh, <laughs> musician here, but about that tone. If we play the lightning bolt and turn it on and off at 312, 320 hertz, somewhere around there is middle C and then you hear that tone. So we can modulate the audio at any frequency we want and get any tone. So you see lightning and you uh, hear music. So um, are you able to play harmony or just is it a melodic type instrument? Oh, good question. We recently ran a project called the Open Spark Project where we accepted submissions of music from musicians around the world. And that was actually the top question. Is this a polyphonic device or a monophonic device? Normally, you play one note at a time per Tesla coil. And that's how we have them set up now. But we found a way to turn each of them into a polyphonic instrument. And we can play at least two notes, maybe three notes, at a time and have it sound great. But that's a future improvement. Right now we're doing monophonic on the Tesla coils. Each Tesla coil makes one note at a time. So you can play two note chords with two Tesla coils, as we have. And you can also include vocals and drums and synth in a backup track which goes over the PA system. Very cool. So um, I hear you guys have a concert coming up and that it's linked with the Ingenuity Festival. Yes. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So we recently got a donation from someone we we're very thankful to. His name is Paul Buckeit. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. He was a case graduate in 1998 and he went on to become Google employee number 23. You can imagine there's many, many employees of Google at this point. If you got in at number 23, you're somebody special. He went on to invent Gmail and make, uh, well, he was, he's been really successful. I'll put it that way. <laughs> That's, yeah. um, and he was kind enough to support the project, the Tesla Orchestra, so that we could do this Open Spark project I mentioned, where we receive submissions of music, uh, music from musicians around the world. And there was enough left over in our budget because we're, we're so savvy with our buying and our surplus buying that we're able to do a live show here in Cleveland. Um, and this is, a, I guess, the premiere of the world's largest uh, twin musical Tesla coils. The changes we've made since the Open Spark project that ran on May 14th um, make us, uh, they give us the ability to say that we have the world's largest twin musical Tesla coils, which we are debuting, to answer your question, June 11th. Saturday, June 11th, 8 p.m. at the Masonic Auditorium. That's where we are here right now. Oh, there's a little confusion there. Nope. This is the Masonic Temple on the west side of Cleveland. We're on Franklin and West 28th. But the Masonic Auditorium um, is on East 36th Street between Chester and Euclid. Oh, well, good thing that we uh, sorted that out. Yeah. And um, that concert is a fundraiser for the Ingenuity Festival as well? Yes. The proceeds from that, those ticket sales, go towards the Tesla Orchestra. We need to be able to afford rent. We're actually renting this building that mm -hmm. we're in front of, the Masonic Temple on the <laughs> west side. I know this gets confusing. Masonic Temple on the west side, Masonic Oratorium on the east side. I get confused sometimes. <laughs> we're renting this place, and we need, um, we want to be able to afford rent for the next year. That's our fundraiser. And Ingenuity, we all know what Ingenuity does. They bring Cleveland's only arts and science festival to downtown Cleveland each year for the past six or so years and we're hoping that they can continue. They've helped us, they helped us get our start. And part of this live show is we want to give back. We've got a fantastic performance and we want to fill those seats and uh, raise money for Ingenuity. Awesome, well before we go, um, I just noticed that uh, 
got an interesting outfit here. We've been working <laughs> on it as we did the interview. You want to tell me a little bit about that? Sure. This is a stainless steel, full body, chain mail suit. I say full body because um, it is full body, although you're not seeing the hood. We're, uh, we're working on the hood. This is my friend Chris Dickey. Chris, say hi. <laughs> and he has some epoxy. We're attaching some magnets onto the suit so we can attach the hood more easily. And what this does is it allows me to interact with the lightning bolts. I can go up and I can touch what would normally be 600,000, 800,000 volts of electricity, enough to do some damage, um, but I can do that safely. Inside this suit, which acts as a Faraday cage, I'm protected from the dangers of the lightning bolts. And you can see me dancing with a whole bunch of props, light tubes. We've got this stuff called flash paper, which makes little puffs of fire. We've got a whole lot of neat little tricks planned for this upcoming show on Saturday. All right, very cool. Well, we all look forward to seeing the show. Thanks, Julie. All right, um, this is Julie Cahigas signing off for Cool Cleveland.